welcome back to our channel active catalyst so if you are tensed about whether i may get good marks or no whether i may pass or no if that is your situation then this video is going to help you i'll just tell you like from which module which questions are going to come surely and what you should not be skipping okay and definitely by end of this video you will have confidence that you will pass what is that i'll tell you see in first module okay this question is damn sure they will ask okay this is very standardized questions which is getting repeated from past 3 years so what you have to understand from this is this is definite question so even if you don't know like how to solve last answer what you get right so last step that step you can by heart only in case if you don't know to solve i'm giving this video specially targeting for those who are struggling to pass okay so here you can confirm seven marks even if steps is wrong final answer you're getting right they'll give you marks in this part one more question where you can expect marks is this part okay show that they'll definitely ask this one proof so study both the model paper question proof what they have asked show that okay so please learn if you learn this much in this module you can score 13 marks so least effort right for this you are going to buy the final answer and for this you have to learn the proof part now let us go to the second module so in second module what they'll ask is they will definitely ask double integration for anything of area especially concentrate on area of a ellipse this is the standard question even this answer you should by heart like in exam even if you are getting wrong step you should know this okay and one famous question that they'll ask is write the code that is program see once you write program also write the output okay how the output will look like if you know you write it or else it's why so they can ask tetrahedron or some other equations also here they may give the change in equation you should be able to solve it that's it so in second module you can easily score 6 marks and area related questions especially ellipse you have to by heart okay so i've told in this module also 13 questions see 13 plus 20 13 26 is already in your hands third module is the easiest question like if you have not gone for anything third module is must for you uh, so write the formula okay we have formula which will be given in your handbook right so first you write formula because for writing the formula you have marks right so one or two marks will be there so first write it later it's very easy okay actually you have to differentiate it and substitute the value of x y and z for this also especially for this question you should write formula correctly for formula there is marks even if you're getting wrong marks i mean wrong final answer so for this i'll consider that you will get two marks even if your solution is wrong because they have asked this find uh, the divergent part and this values okay and then this we have find divergent of f and curl f f if you write correct formula by looking into your handbook also you'll get two marks definitely okay so four marks is definitely like you can get it coming to our part so if you know this it's easy for you because we have orthogonal and one more proof right study both you can easily score seven marks okay they usually give marks in derivations so it will be easy for you then we have writing the code for gradient you just spend half an hour or one hour for like bahating the codes not bahating understand it okay spend one hour it will be more than sufficient even if you are starting it from new what all uh, coding part you have to learn only finding the gradient don't go to learn anything extra in module 3 what we have is we have the vector space concept where you have to prove it if you have learned it it's okay but if you are learning it for first time don't go to touch it because you will not understand you will feel it difficult and because of that scariness you may lose marks so leave it then determine whether the matrix is 2 into 2 matrix this is must you have to study and it's easy okay uh, from this module you can confirm seven marks so choose wisely if you are in a situation where you have not prepared anything choose wisely from each module i should compulsorily solve this concept like that you should solve just don't go prepared with only 35 marks be prepared with at least 45 marks 10 marks as a backup okay okay then in the next or part we have rank nullity theorem right 
so this is surest question you should not be mixing like missing this you have to compulsorily do okay then uh, like in group only we had shared one playlist right where it includes all formula solving through only through calculator so newton's raphson method can be solved only through calculator just learn it okay first of all if you write correct formula they'll give two marks here and even if you write lagrange's interpolation formula correctly they'll give you two marks then again if you write 3 by 8 simpson's rule formula again you'll get two marks See, six marks is already in your hands even if you don't know to solve anything and one more thing after you attempt all the questions like i know like in one or two you will act like one two if you have you will attempt one or two right but in the last what you have to do write question number two like suppose if you have attempted one perfectly for 20 marks then write question number 2 write the formulas related to that question number 2 and come this will help you to pass similarly wherever you find another like where you can write formula no write that question even if you are not solving it write that question write that formula and come i promise you will never regret for this you will definitely that this point will definitely help you in passing even in this part okay modified euler's method range kutta method write that formula and come even here okay the taylor series again range kutta method then the coding part okay uh, and yeah i have told spend one hour for remembering all the codes so my first suggestion even if you are not attempting that particular model question model question write formula and come this will help you to pass and my next suggestion would be you should present neatly like suppose if you are solving one particular question and in that question if you make like scratches okay the paper one who corrects your paper will think okay that this person has got your confused maybe this person has solved wrong i'll check it in clearly every steps i'll go in details then there might be a chance of like losing marks right but if you write neatly without scratching especially in maths they will not look into steps and they'll directly give you marks even if you things are wrong okay that is going to be the plus point to you then lastly i would like to tell you all the very best paper will be easy practice model papers and the pyqs properly write formulas and come again i'm stressing on that so we'll meet in the next video with next important subject do comment it like what you need help so that i can help you out all the best just remember my suggestions you can do it well and i trust all of you guys will do it well all the best again